Researchers with WSU's Institute for Northwest Energy Futures believe solar panels can provide more than just clean energy to power farm equipment, but also sun protection for our highest valued fruit. Washington State researchers received more than $2 million from the state's Commerce Department to try out this new dual role for solar panels. The team believes installing protective panels at Washington's most prized orchards could prevent sunburn among popular varieties like Cosmic Crisp, Honey Crisp, and Granny Smith. When it gets really hot, um, the sunlight actually will heat up the surface temperature of the apples and cause physiological defects that most people would look at and say it, it looks like rot. Horticulturists say up to 50 percent of the crop can be affected by sunburn if steps are not taken to protect the apples. As you harvest the fruit, you spend all the money, you put it in cold storage, and six months later you pull it out and the fruit is damaged and unmarketable. With a grant from the Commerce Department and a partnership with the European solar system company, Sanagra, the team plans to set up a one-acre, zero-carbon demonstration system at a research orchard in Wenatchee. And these panels, which are already in use in Europe, work on more than just apples. Quite a bit over wine grapes and, and in some cases over vegetable production. This is probably the biggest installation over apples. Researchers say growers could also power electric tractors, wind machines, and irrigation pumps. We're very high-tech. Our apple industry is amongst the high-tech, most high-tech apple industry in the world, the most high-tech agriculture industry in the world. If these solar panels turn out to be successful and economical, team members say they might play a big role in meeting the clean energy demands of the future. Libby Dowsett, KGW News.